The highly favored Wildcats were number one seed in the NIT, the Utes, the number eight seed, but the Blitzkins from the West were the New York crowd favorite. It was the defensive play of Watt Masaka that captivated the crowd. Watt held Kentucky's leading scorer, Ralph Beard, to just one point as Utah won by four, 49 to 45. Bird Gardner, the MVP, and the Big Apple belong to the Utes. Today we would like to honor one of the most notable student athletes to ever play for the running youths. Juan Misako left a legacy in the game of basketball. He played a key role for the University of Utah in bringing the NCAA Tournament Championship Trophy to Salt Lake City in 1944 as they defeated Dartmouth with a score of 42 to 40. Following that championship season, Misako was drafted into the United States Army he served for two years and rose to the rank of staff sergeant before rejoining the running Utes. In 1947, the point guard helped Utah capture the NIT championship by beating Kentucky with a score of 49 to 45. Following his career at Utah, Juan Basaka was drafted by the New York Knicks in 1947 and broke barriers by becoming the first non-Caucasian player to be drafted into the Basketball Association of America, a precursor to the NBA. At this time, Please direct your attention to the East Raptors for a special presentation as we reveal the banner of Juan Misaka. Fans at this time, please direct your attention to Center Court, where University of Utah President Taylor Randall and Director of Athletics Mark Harlan are here to present a special gift to Hank Misaka and Nancy Umamora of the Misaka family. Joining them on the court is Utah State Senator Jenny Iwamoto and Utah State Representative Steve Eliasson. And now a few words from Nancy Umemora. On behalf of Hank uh, and our family, I, I want to thank three groups of people. Uh, first, to those who made this event possible, to Senator Jamie Wamoto, uh, Representative Steve Eliasson, excuse me, I'm talking up, um, and to Max Chang for uh, sponsoring the, the resolution in the Utah legislature. Um, and for uh, petitioning um, the university for this, to Mark Harlan um, for, and the Utah Athletic Department just for honoring um, Watt in this uh, permanent way. Um, and to Bruce and Chris Johnson, the creators of Transcending the Watt-Masaka Story film, um, who have been uh, longtime advocates for Watt. Second, I want to thank our extended family and friends, many of you who are here today and represented here today. Um, you know, we've, we 
love and appreciate you more than we could ever say. We want to acknowledge um, our mom, Katie, who helped a lot to be the man uh, that he was. And finally, um, I was thinking, you know, what would have turned 98 last month? And thank you to the Utah community for supporting Watt and our family for nearly a hundred years. Um, that's amazing. Dad had a lot of natural athletic ability, but in team sports, uh, talent um, isn't everything. You have to have someone give you the opportunity to play. Um, and through all the stages of Watt's life, you know, there were people who created those opportunities for him. You know, his parents moving here from Japan to give um, him and his two brothers, Tats and Oss, you know, an opportunity for education and a better life. And then in sports through you know, Central Junior High and Ogden High School and Weber State and the University of Utah and the New York Knicks, somebody gave him the opportunity to play. Some people saw the color of his skin and treated him with compassion. And some people saw to the person he was inside and treated him with love and respect. His teammates at Utah did both. Um, I want to uh, acknowledge especially Watt's teammate and lifelong friend, Arnie Farron. Uh, he couldn't be here with us today, but his, his family is here, Trace and, and, and Josh. Arnie has been the epitome of someone who has played alongside and walked alongside um, as a friend, um, encouraging and supporting and turning opportunities into reality for him. Um, we should all be blessed to have such a friend. We should all be such a friend to someone like that. So thank you all so much for being here for this incredible honor for a lot. Go Utes! <laughs>